Do you use the hyperlink function in Excel? The hyperlink function creates a shortcut that jumps to another location. It can be used to build a table of content that links to different sheets in a workbook, just like the one I have here, a different workbook or the internet. The hyperlink function has two arguments, the link location and a friendly name. The square brackets denote an optional argument, so if you leave it blank, your formula will still work. The hyperlink function will only return the link address. Before we get into some examples, if you are yet to subscribe, please support this channel by clicking the subscribe button. Now let's check out these examples. I'll show you a few methods to jump to a different location in the same workbook. There's a worksheet named income here. And to jump to the total income, you have to link the formula to cell F8 right here. Ensure that the workbook is saved because this formula won't work in a new workbook that hasn't been saved. Let's take a look at the syntax again. For the link location argument, you have to include the workbook name and worksheet name. So our input should look like this. The name of the file is hyperlink tutorial and the worksheet name is income and the cell is F8. This is too long, right? <laughs> We can actually replace the workbook name with the pound sign and combine it with the worksheet name. The link location will then look like this. Let's go ahead and type it in. Hyperlink pound income, don't forget the exclamation mark, F8. This is a text string so you have to enclose it in quotation marks. Let's make the friendly name total income. Don't forget to wrap it in quotes as well. Hit enter. Let's see if it works. Cool. You can also use cell references instead of hard coding. All you need to do is combine the pound sign with the worksheet name using the ampersand operator. There's a worksheet named expenses here. I picked the first two expenses, groceries and phone. The cell references and friendly names are here. Now the formula will look like this. Hyperlink, pound in quotes, ampersand. I think this is a cleaner method. Let's see if it works. Great. You can also link to named ranges. To name a range, just highlight the cells you want to name. Let's call this expenses. Now the formula will look like this. Hyperlink. Let's pull up the named range first. Add the pound sign before it and wrap in quotation marks. The friendly name is right here. Let's see if it works. There you go. If you want to jump to a different location in another Excel file within the same folder, just use the file name as the link location. Let's take a peek at this folder. I'll create a link to this file named Shapes and Icons. The location and friendly name are right here. So our formula would be hyperlink B5C5. Let's see if it works. Amazing. When you enter a URL in a cell, Excel automatically converts it into a hyperlink. And when you click it, it takes you to the website. However, the hyperlink function will allow you to add a friendly name. Here's the address to my channel in B5. Using the hyperlink function, the formula will look like this hyperlink b5 c5 let's see if it works cool thanks to all my subscribers when you enter an email address in a cell excel automatically converts it into a hyperlink and when you click it it takes you to your default email app however to use the address in the hyperlink function you need to add 
mail to and column before the email address and if you want to add a subject it will look like this now the formula will be hyperlink b4 c4 drag down let's see if it works cool to select and edit a cell that contains the hyperlink without jumping to the hyperlink destination you can over the pointer on the cell until it becomes a cross or you use the arrow keys to move to the cell press f2 and edit thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video and i'll see you in the next video bye for now